starting phase two of this journey, traveling down the ICW from Palm Coast to Marathon. Our first leg being from Palm Coast to New Smyrna, about 41 miles, about five hours, and 23 gallons of fuel. Preparing to go under our first bridge. Well, we have bridge. our first bridge opening. We've first, been under a bridge before. <laughs> first bridge that requires an opening. New Smyrna City Marina is a great stop. Yellow Dog Eats is uh, fabulous for dinner and an easy walk. This is a ruins just outside of the City Marina. We really enjoyed it. Our next leg was from New Smyrna to Melbourne, our longest leg. Uh, it was about 73 miles, took about eight and a half hours. Didn't get a lot of video, it was kind of choppy and ugly. Then we moved on from Melbourne to Vero. And here's uh, Vero City Dock. Another great stop, especially if you have animals, the dog park's right around the corner. The next two legs were from Vero to Stewart and Stewart to Palm Beach. We really liked that trip from uh, Vero to Stewart. A lot of islands, carve-outs, great, great run, but had very little video. I don't know why. I think to date, if we were picking a place to live, Jupiter would be the spot. Great water, a lot of neat activities, just clear as can be. Not uh, bad accommodations at Loggerhead in Palm Beach. Palm Beach Garden. We have our own pool, laundry, you name it. Time for a quick jump from a Marina to Lake Boca Raton. And first overnight on the hook, well on our trip, here's Kelly and little Kells taking Jackson out to go to the bathroom. Where we'll stay tonight. I'll give you some dust pictures. All right, made it to Lake Boca. Jackson. Looks pretty nice out there. Jackson, come here. It's beautiful. He's like, He's I'm, busy. I'm too busy watching stuff. Nice evening. The dog has definitely acclimated okay. It's the first time we've seen the cat out. She's used to walking the docks in Palm Coast and I think she was getting a little restless. So in Boca, she came out for a little view trying to find that dock again, I think. Lake Boca to South Miami was quite the trip. Very dynamic change in the environment, high rises. It was amazing.
in Virginia Key, viewing South Miami. My dad grew up here. He fished this area 50 or more years ago. Out in the morning with the dog, getting ready for a departure from Virginia Key to Key Largo. I just want you to hear how quiet it is on this key and knowing that downtown Miami is less than five miles away. Bye Florida, hello Conk Republic. Key Largo is 50 miles away. All right, goodbye Miami. Hello, Key Largo. Ah, <laughs> uh, we've traveled this bridge many times into the Keys for diving and fishing and all around boating. First time though traveling north to south via the ICW. All right, I'm on the uh, rooftop, Tarpon Basin. Very slight breeze. Just saw a massive manatee go right under the boat. Amazing what you can see when you have clear water. We're doing another layover here. It's great. Paddleboards in the water. We're about to get some paddleboard in action. Kelly's ready. Dog's ready. Paddleboards are ready. Had a great morning so far. We're just gonna keep it up. That little boat that uh, didn't fare so well. Howdy break. Largo felt like home since we'd been visiting there so many times in the past. But after two days, it was time to move on to Marathon, our last leg. 54 miles, six hours, 30 gallons of fuel. Hey everybody, welcome to warm and sunny Marathon, Florida. I hate to rub it in, I know you guys are have some cold weather, but I wanted to show you this door that uh, we had done and uh, 
Also talk a little bit about Ferro Blanca. I highly recommend it. Great facility, well located. Um, we're loving it. Just a couple days here and we're starting to venture out. All right, let me show you this door. For all of you that remember the boat, there's a rigid door in here now. Uh, there was a slide door with zippers on both sides. You know, that worked fine for the weekends, but when you move aboard, you just need something a little, uh, a little more rigid. So, Guyton Mundy out of uh, Palm Coast fabricated this for us. It's got a regular handle. He used the glass that we had previously and inserted it. We got a vinyl that matched the other vinyl on the boat. And, uh, you know, you can have it open, latch it. We did a little catch for the latch. But, uh, yeah, great addition to the boat. It really does help out. Let me show you how this uh, closed right up. So there we are going through it. And let's get this baby closed. Voila. Closed off from the elements. Uh, probably the hardest part was fabricating the frame, so it worked that angled roof line. But uh, all in all, did a phenomenal job, and we are very, very happy with having a regular door.